Alléluia. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
Challenges of kingdom intercessors. Amen. The internal challenges of kingdom intercessors. Amen. Father, I thank you. Amen. The kingdom intercessors. The kingdom, the internal challenges of kingdom intercessors. Thank you for your word. The internal challenges of kingdom intercessors. Amen. Father, I pray for utterance, I pray for wisdom, I pray for mouth, I pray for Amen. insight, Amen. inspiration, spiritual intelligence, Lord. Thank Amen. you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This teaching, I'm going to um, allow God to speak. And one thing I want all of us to understand is that there is no thing, there is no challenge that is not common. Amen. That has never happened before. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. There is nothing you are passing through that some people have never passed through before. Amen. Mm -hmm. The reason you are passing through right now is because you are in your generation. Mm. Amen. Even the Bible says there is nothing new under the heaven. Mm. Mm. Amen. And that is there is nothing that we some people are passing through mm. that will not still repeat itself. Amen. So, either you are not there, mm -hmm. or you are there right now, or you have been there many times. It's still the same thing that will still keep repeating itself. Amen. The ways of God may be uh, different, but mm -hmm. it's still the same results. Amen. The result is just to 
uh, renew you, but you can come in different ways. So I'm going to do this teaching based on my divine experiences and encounters. Amen. And what you're passing through is is for God to give you a wisdom Amen. and a map to teach others. Amen. That's why the same message that this Jesus did over 2,000 years ago is still the same way we have been encountering and Hot uttering. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, the first, when we started about the teaching of uh, intercessors, mm -hmm. we talk about the importance of kingdom intercessors. Then the second part, which was last Sunday, um, I do remember the title. That was um, Last Sunday, Hallelujah. Amen. The first one we talk about, I just don't want to put part one, part two, part three to it. Mm -hmm. So I kept asking for each of them to be unique. The purpose of intercessors in the kingdom, that was the second part. The first part is the importance of kingdom intercessors. Second part is the purpose of intercessors in the kingdom. Now, this one is the third part, which is the internal challenges of kingdom intercessors. Most um, intercessors, their importance is, is to stand the gap between God and man. Or well, let me say between Jesus and man. Mm -hmm. the Lord. Amen. Because the Bible says Jesus is at the right of at the right hand of God, is a mediator interceding for us. Mm. So in the heavenly places, Jesus is interceding for us, for all of us, even both people in the kingdom of God or people outside the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So it's like we are now the one receiving what is uh, praying so that we can um, expose them on hearts. As in we receive what is praying for us and we like a channel mm -hmm. to bring them to pass. Either through prayers, mm -hmm. either continuing the intercessors or in preaching Amen. or in teaching, in evangelism or in giving in the area that God can use horse or to dispense what is praying Amen. from his father. Amen. Now the purpose, uh, the importance is to stand in gap. Mm -hmm. So the one today is the internal challenge of kingdom intercessors. 
Because let me tell you, most intercessors, their challenges are internal. Mm. Because you give what you have. Mm -hmm. So it's like intercessor is like you are giving what you have to help other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, you like uh let me say you have a broken heart, you pray uh the same prayer you're supposed to pray for yourself, you pray for others. Praise the Lord. There's nothing called prayer warriors as a ministry. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everyone is born to pray Amen. in Christ. Amen. So, um, let's say, let me say, give and it shall be given back. Good pressure, press down, shaking together and running over. We got add back to your bosom. So let's say you are giving 10%. Or let me say you are giving 90% of uh, what you're supposed to pray for yourself. You are giving it out. Now let's say you are praying for just doing some summary based on the past teaching because we have to, we have to link it to this one. Mm -hmm. So let's say um I'm praying for 10 people. What I'm supposed to pray for myself, I'm giving it out to 10 people. Give and it shall be given back to you. Mm -hmm. Press down, shake it together, run it over. With God heart to your bosom. So, uh, what you're supposed to pray for yourself, you are giving it out. So, let me, let's assume I'm praying for 10 people. Praise the Lord. So, now, what I did is to change it. <laughs> Because the Bible says, give back, give and shall be given back. So let's say you are giving 100% out hmm, to each or to 10 people. So now it's like God is to give you back more than what you give out. So it's like God is supposed to give, like, let's say, 70% of, I mean, Additional 70% of the whole prayer you are giving out. So let's say to you, God is giving you 170 back. And God is giving 100 to each of them. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, but now let's now assume that God is giving them 90 and is giving you 10. Amen. Can you see, I try to reduce it. So, now, so let's say, I, I, it's supposed to be like, God is giving you more. So it's supposed to be like, he's giving them 30, and he's giving you 70, according to that scripture. Amen. But now, let's now say, okay, no matter how, let's just say, I'm trying to tell you that, even if you reduce it, you still get more. Amen. Praise the Lord, that is what I'm trying to say. If you reduce it, like say, okay, they get 30%, 70%, you are getting 30%. Now, you are giving 70% to each of the 100 people. But God is giving you 30% of all of the 100 people. So, God is giving you 30,000 measure of the prayer you are praying for people. He has, he's giving you 30,000 back. And it's giving each of them 70 70 back because you are praying for more heads. Are you getting it? Amen. So that is the, the purpose of what we were saying last week. Uh, last week, the last week is like there's no problem that can God guide people, your family externally. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because you are standing in gap. So the eyes of God is on you. He will not make anything to touch you. But the what I discover about intercessors based on my experience, that is I've been praying as an intercessor as far as seven years ago now. And the day I got to know the secret or the reward of being an intercessor, I never stop from it. The reward of intercessors is so much if you are doing it always, the reward is, is like 
How would I put it? The reward is like you are it's like a, a bottle of water and uh, an ocean. Praise the Lord. Amen. But you have to see when you are praying for people. You are carrying everybody on your head. And the people and the power that uh, tie them down will not just fold their hands and be looking at you. So, let's say you use the blood of Jesus to cover your family. You read, you meditate on Psalm 91 to pray uh, to cover, to protect your family. That's why that the eyes of God is already on you and everything that concerns you. You still have your own part to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's say the uh, uh, example of Job in Job 1, 2 or 3. <laughs> Job never knew that God's eyes was on him, but he was interceding for his Children, is children's children. Let's say, let me do, let me start in that for them in prayers. We don't know if one of them has uh, done something that God say we should not do. Maybe he has done. Let me intercede for them. That is what Job was doing. He never knew that uh, he was the kind of person that God can 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 can. Can stand that. I mean, the height of God was so much upon him, but he was just doing his own thing in the corner. He never knew that God was watching him. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, when you are praying in, to people, you are just doing your own just to have your peace. You are just doing your own just to push in something in the, in the kingdom. You are just doing your own just to. Uh, to do the will of God. You are just doing your own just to sacrifice yourself for the purpose of the kingdom. Amen. And you keep doing it because you have rewards and you see the secret that is so much hidden as reward for intercessors. Amen. Let me tell you, if you do it one, let me say, uh, you cook a particular stew once. And you see how sweet this cook, uh, this sweet still is. I'm telling you, <laughs> you will keep doing it. I mean, I mean, you carry everybody on your head. You know that you personally, you know the challenges in it because you know that you're a target. But despite that, you know that this is a battle that has been won. Mm -hmm. You are just what. Just to click on what God has done and relate on the uh, finished work of God, relate on victory of Jesus on the cross, relate to the blood of Jesus to always be a victor, a victor over all the spiritual battles. And because of that, God will set to your matters. Amen. It will Amen. open doors for you. Doors that you never knew. Because you don't... See, let me tell you. I can say this is the most... Intercessors is the most difficult job in the kingdom. I'm telling you. Preach is not the preaching. Intercessors is the most the sacrifice you can just I mean to for God to know that you love me because what God is doing for all of us in the kingdom means I want to be sure you love me. And that means that you can you can prove you can it's not like a proof you can please God you can sacrifice yourself for God in in in, in interceding for people and you may lack in other side. So don't say because I have sacrificed myself for God and is a proof that I, God loved me or I love God. You may be 100% in 
in that level and not even five have five percent mark in another level so don't let us go into that let's just fix our focus on intercessors but what i'm trying to say is that uh god knows how to weigh the balances i want to know god can use that one thing see uh david bible says david goes to the temple to to worship god this is seven times in a day but he lack in a particular side but god never said because he lack in a particular part to say okay uh david you are no more a man after my heart amen that is what is that is what grace can do Hallelujah. Amen. The reason I started this journey was I realized some things in the Bible. I realized some people. Imagine God, if for God to say Abraham was his friend. You know what it takes for God to call man his friend. For God to say, David is a man after his heart. This is a serious sacrifice. Mm. For God to say, one is a one is a man with a different spirit. That is a spirit of faith. Mm. For God to say, this is my beloved son. Uh -uh. Someone that has not even done anything the Bible can record. So it means that when he was learning God and he was doing, he saw some things that Bible never recorded. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I say, God, I want, no matter how hard this journey may be, I want to sacrifice myself for you. Anything you like, you can call me. But one thing is that God will not just say because you've done it once and we just have to give you the name. No. You have to check and check and check and check and check. Hallelujah. Amen. But what I discover is that after those have been hopeful for you, things and things and things and things, one serious common challenge of an intercessor is internal one internal challenges so let's go to the scriptures uh to read the scripture then we we'll list the internal challenges efficiencies Ephesians 6, verse 16. He said, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fearing thoughts of the wicked. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil ones. If you have ever seen evil spirits before, <laughs> can you please raise up your hands? If you are also watching me, watching this uh, us online, you've seen evil spirit before, can you please indicate under the comments <laughs> of the video? <laughs> So when, since when the evil ones, they shoot their house. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
I, I hope I won't branch. I don't want to spend too much time today. It's just that there are some teachings that you are going to branch a bit and understand some things. Man is man appears in three ways. Man appears in three ways. Man is spirit. So man appears as spirit in this realm of the spirit. God says, love me with all your hearts, with all your soul, with all your mind. These are three realms. Dhamma appears. These are three realms. Heart is a man. Soul is a man. Mind is a man. The area that um, the area that is with God is your heart. When God save us. <laughs> the one that God created in the beginning was the man called Image. Amen. Image means man in the realm of God. Directly, as in if God, if God is calling you, is related to your heart part, Amen. or is related to your heart man. So the man. I want to check a scripture. The man of the heart or something like that. Yes. The man of the heart First Peter three four. He said, "But let it be the eating man of the heart." You have to be patient with this teaching, or else you begin to say, "This is what a book says." A book that I read. This is what it says. The problem we, human we have is that we don't understand ourselves. We don't know that we are three men in one. That's why we don't know that we have three lives as one life. We have three lives as one life. So we are three men as one man. We are three men as one. See, the man that God created is different from the man that God formed. And I is not different from the man that fell. So when God said, see what that verse says, 1 Peter 3.10, he said, but let it be the eating man of the heart in that which is not corruptible. So it is the hidden man of the heart that is not corruptible. Amen. That is the one that God saved. Amen. That is the man that came from an incorruptible seed. Amen. Mm. So
So that man is not corruptible. See, but the man of the soul is one hundred percent not saved. So when Baru is saying, That above all, mm -hmm. taking the shield of faith, mm -hmm. wherewith we yet shall be able to quench all the very doubt of the wicked. Amen. See, the wicked will not shoot arrow to the one that is not corruptible. They will shoot arrow to the man that is not saved. Because the one, the hidden man of the heart is in God. 100%. Nothing can take him away. But the one that he takes the knowledge of God to uh, grow and become the knowledge of God by itself. That is where the warfare is. <laughs> so the problem of an intercessor is internal when an intercessor is praying let me tell you the man that is seated in Christ is the one that is not corruptible the one that is not yet saved is not seated with God with Christ or in Christ. That is why what will make the one that is not saved to be saved is what the Bible calls spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. Christ is still in the heavenly places. That will has to do with saving of the soul. That soul is a man. That soul was, was the one that was formed in the garden. The Bible says, and the Lord breathed in him. And he became a living soul. So, what God breathed in him was another man. Amen. To make the, set, the first one function in the realm. That has to do with accumulation of wealth or accumulation of knowledge Amen. or acquiring knowledge. Amen. That is why it is a soul that can acquire Christ. Hmm. So what the what does enemy shoot <laughs> is a kind of knowledge you don't know. That will confuse you. Let's see that verse again. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Because it takes faith to acquire knowledge. Let me tell you. You must believe that you can do this. Or else. You know what? You will not understand that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You shall be able to see what makes you to be to what gives you ability or power to do something. Ah. Let me see if I can understand. Remember a law. Uh, I say power is um, power. Power is what in physics? Power is let me see if I can search Google. Derivation of power in physics. Mm -hmm. 
Power, thank you, it's always me that I won't remember because I'm still such. Power is the ability to do work. Amen. That is what physics called power. Amen. Ability to do work. So what is the ability that you have to do work? Amen. For you to start something and do, start doing something, it requires knowledge. Amen. Praise the Lord. So for you to uh, become like I am now, uh, you finish in a school and you said you are now a graduate of um, a doctor is because in the university you acquired the knowledge to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. That is an ability to do work. So it takes so. See the reason that it takes longer for so for the soul to be saved is because it takes it can take you four years, or it can take you seven years in some countries to be a medical doctor. Years, <laughs> not weeks, not days. Years upon years upon years. So what you are learning or building or practicing bit by bit is becoming you. Sometimes you fail tests, sometimes you have carries over, sometimes you have this, sometimes on sleepless nights, sometimes you have a headache, sometimes you are in the hospital, sometimes despite that, you are still pushing yourself to lay layers of information upon themselves. So you can have uh, 2,000 layers of information before you can call yourself, let's say, a driver or a, a pilot. So it can take you seven years to be a graduate of, of a nurse or a medical doctor. So, the way it takes you seven years to be yourself and become something, that's why it's going to take years to be yourself and save your soul. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that man, Amen. that man is a man that is fighting war here. So, that man called soul Is the one that fights. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why? Because he's not yet saved. And what is now fighting that soul, that soul is like a man. That soul is a man on himself that has two forces applying on him. The first force is not a force, it's a blessing. Is the one that is coming, is coming, is receiving. How would I put it? It's like you have a SIM card on your phone, but your SIM card is receiving a signal from your service provider. Mm -hmm. So your soul is receiving signal from the man that is incorruptible, the one that is saved, that is 100% in God. Now, uh, the one that is saved is sending signals. So, the one that is not saved. So, that one that is saved through the power of God, that one himself is, a, is an access between God and the one that is not saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, for, don't let me go more so that we don't spend, but I wish I can explain this thing. I wish I can explain it. Let me, okay, let me explain a bit. That one is receiving signals. It's receiving pulses. Impulses to say to this one that we want to save, but this one that we want to save also have uh, some some corruptible materials in him. Now those corruptible materials or resources, or I don't want to, they are not blessings. They are not blessings. Amen. They are junks. Let me call them junks or things you put in the bin. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, 
Now, before this man, because the first man dra dragged him into the kingdom. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The first man that I say dragged him. The first man is a source giving power to the one that is not saved. The reason is that the one that is not saved also is the one that will give pulses and signals to your mind. Your mind is another kind of man. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, now, there is a blessing coming from incorruptible man to save the one that is not saved. Mm -hmm. Now, this soul, when he was still in the world, with the, with the, uh, with the hidden man of the heart, praise the Lord, Amen. there is no warfare. Satan was reigning. He doesn't have anything <laughs> as like a punching to him. He can do and undo. He can stand up one day and say, oh, this one is going out. You, 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 you. Go and cause accidents. So he can lay his hands upon anybody at a time. But when Jesus came and got that key from him, and he doesn't have the reign again, he has his resources in the soul. The Lord. But they drag the soul in the kingdom of God. Mm. Praise the Lord. When man saved, everything was dragged. The three, the remaining two were dragged with the one that is saved. The one that is saved dragged the remaining two by force in the kingdom. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So when they drag the mind, uh, the soul, the man called soul and the man called mind into the kingdom. I'm telling I'm talking about the internal man. Your body is not internal, it's not spiritual. <coughs> Hallelujah. Your body must go because see, when the, when the, when when your your heart drag the soul and the mind, the body must follow the mind. Or let me say the flesh must follow the mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's, that's what they call, they say, internal, it is spiritual that control physical. Mm -hmm. It is internal that control external. It is inward appearance that control outward appearance. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, now, this man called soul is now two way he, one, one leg in, one leg out. Because he receives his, uh, when your heart was still desperately wicked. Are you getting it? That heart was the one giving information to the soul. Information that had become part of him for years. Has become, has made him up. Now, what God did was to change the heart from the world. And bring him into himself. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. So it's like you have. Let me. I will write. Put it. You can see me. You have one man here. Okay, we have. Okay, I will write. Put it. Uh, let's say this is the man. This is a man. Indian man of the heart. This is a man called soul, and this is another man called mind. Now, if when God wants to save that man, he doesn't. This is the source. This is the power. This is the one that is giving fuel to this one. And this one will now give fuel to this one. Are you getting it? This is the one that he received directly from God. Or received directly from uh, the heavy meal of God. So now, when man fell, the man, the hidden man of the heart, was the one that fell. He fell from God into into sin. So he has to receive, he has to be a portal, receiving sinful things, uh, water of death from uh, from sin to be feeding information 
nor knowledge, wrong knowledge to the to the soul. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So now is the soul that is the uh, also the fuel for the mind. I wish if I know that this is how this teaching is going to go, I would have come with something like practical to practicalize what I'm saying. But I don't know. So um, just bear with me. Just follow uh, this teaching as I'm um, doing it. Open your eyes of understanding. Open your spiritual imaginations and follow this teaching. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, okay, like, like every man has head. Praise the Lord. When the head, when the head is cut off, as big as each as this whole body is, is gone. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the head is like the eating man of the heart. Mm -hmm. It's the one that controls the soul and the mind. So the mind relies on the soul and the soul relies on its source, which is the eating man of the heart. So when the first man fell, you can see God created the God created man after in his own image. This is it is the hidden man of the heart that God created. Mm -hmm. Now, this hidden man of the heart that God created and was created in Christ. Mm -hmm. God created man in his own image. So God has image that he can call his own, which is Christ. So he created man in Christ. So image means man. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So he created man, uh, which is also called image. Mm -hmm. He created man, he created an image and put him in his own image. Mm -hmm. So that it's, it takes image to understand image. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So now when Man fell. Man fell from a uh, image of Christ, which is the man. Man is like the head, as in the eating man of the heart, the man that is in the heart. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's like the head. So when the head is being cut off, everyone is doesn't have their power. Amen. So it's the it's the head that is giving. Uh, Impulses, signals, and powers, mm -hmm. and um, uh, regulations and rules mm -hmm. to the soul. Amen. So, so cannot do anything unless it is received from the mind, from the heart, from the Indian heart, Indian man of the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So, now, when this man in the heart of God fell, he fell from the heart of God to another heart. Amen. That is all of God. Mm -hmm. That is the heart that the Bible is called the heart of man is desperately wicked. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the first man <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The first man is now being ruled by the enemy. Mm. So it's the enemy that gives signals. Mm. So the signals, the impulses, the inspirational ideas that it gives goes into the soul. Amen. You can see that they don't they don't bother about the they don't the enemy doesn't create anything. It's just to take the first one mm. and put him under their captives. Amen. Hallelujah. So when the first one is being uh, uh, oppressed, the other one, the other two, the soul and the mind, they are also under oppression. Hallelujah. Now you see. Amen. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's because it is this heart, the man in the heart that gives signals. Is so what it does is just to give signals. So now the man of the heart of God just receives signals from God and give it to the soul. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why sometimes in the spiritual, in the when you are praying, you can see images. 
He can see revelation. It is because you are in. Praise the Lord. You are this man. This man. Oh God. Ah! I never God this one. I never believe this is the way this teaching will take us this morning. This man in the heart, that man is full of everything from the end to the toe of that man is all portal. Every part, that man is like a glass. Mm. Mm. You know that if you are in front of a mirror, you can see things in the other side. Mm -hmm. And let's say you are not in front of a mirror, you are in front of a glass. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Okay. There are some glasses, uh, some tinted glasses that you can see everything outside, but they can't see what is inside. Hallelujah. So when the world that receives signals is, is dead, praise the Lord. Amen. Now, it's dead because it's now receiving wrong signals. Not from the image that God can call him his own. Mm -hmm. From the from the image opposite Christ. Mm -hmm. That is the image they call Antichrist. So another word for Antichrist is Christ. Another the opposite of Antichrist is Christ. The opposite of image is iniquity. Mm -hmm. Ah, can you see how? Can you see that the, the teaching has been linked together now? Amen. So, image of God is what is called the love of God. Amen. Love is one that is called selfless man. Mm. Mm. So, the man called image that is eating in the heart is eating to receive signals from God. So he's selfless. Mm -hmm. He only receives and sends it. He's, he's, I won't call it under subjection. No. He's, he's a man that is, you know, if you are to receive something, you are your car, you are to drive a car. Are you not to press the pedal? Let's imagine that the pedal now shouted and don't press me. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the pedal doesn't have anything down to what to humble himself. Praise the Lord. Amen. So everything about the fruit of the spirit is one hundred percent active in the man, in the inner man of the heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now the heart or the man in the heart. So you can say the heart, or you can say the man in the heart. Praise the Lord. You can say. You can you can say uh, uh, my soul. <laughs> what you are saying is it the man in my soul? You may not know. <laughs> so if I can say is my heart, is a man in my heart, or is my mind is a man in my heart? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So. Um, When God created this one, you can see that God now formed this one. Formation is like, let's lay another layer. Hallelujah. Amen. This microphone I'm holding now. <laughs> you can see that there's a life in the microphone, but I can't see the life. Mm -hmm. What I can see is the hardware that I'm holding on. Hallelujah. <laughs> so it's like let's place uh, software in the microphone mm -hmm. and now God created software and I'll say this is my image or let's say uh, this is my software <laughs> Amen. hallelujah Amen. so let's say God created a software hallelujah Amen. and say this is my software like Microsoft now, it doesn't do hardware. So if you see your your laptop called HP or Dell or Lenovo, Hallelujah or Huawei, <laughs> Microsoft is not the one that holds those devices. Amen. What it holds is the software in that device. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. 
So, if you are not a, a computer engineer, engineers, you don't know all the secrets about your phone, so about your computer. The only thing you say, you go to the market to buy is, I went to the market to buy HP laptop. Mm. But you will know that what you bought is not just HP. You bought Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm. uh, what Microsoft, no, you bought Microsoft Windows. Praise the Lord. You bought Windows and you bought some programs. Amen. We call it application system, uh, software. Amen. We call it system software. So you bought system software, application software, and the hardware is together. Mm. But you, you say my laptop is HP or my laptop is Dell. You don't know that it's not only HP or Dell that you have. But what concerns Microsoft with all with your laptop is it's on Microsoft Windows, which is system software. Hallelujah. So now you have system software, you have uh, some other applications that is done by so many people. This application uh, that is done by all of them is what we can call soul. Hallelujah. Amen. It is what that makes the laptop to function. Amen. So what makes uh, the man in the heart of God to function with uh, Christ? Also, to function how Christ is the soul. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it's like God he as what well as you. Mm -hmm. There's a path that God homes. Mm -hmm. There's a path that the Son of God homes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> and now there's a path that you home. Praise the Lord. Amen. The one that you hold is the mind. Mm. Why? Because you are the one that will relate what you receive from Christ and bring it to manifestation on heart. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I wish I just pray. I thank. I pray that you are opening your your imaginations to follow this teaching. I never know this is where. I never knew this is the direction this teaching will go. Hallelujah. But to God be the glory. So, do some people will say man is trapatite. Yes. But I will say trapatite because trapatite means man that doesn't uh, obey themselves. There are three separate three men. They don't link. They are not interwoven. Praise the Lord. But if you say um, man is an interwoven being, or man is a uh, man linking to themselves. Amen. Hallelujah. So man is men, three men linking to themselves. They receive and they send signals. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So now, see the one. Uh, that belongs to um, to the one that receives information. Mm -hmm. So, is the man called soul. He receives information from the heart. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes he can receive, sometimes he can send. Mm -hmm. Like, the soul can say, uh, heart, please, I need this. Are you getting it? Then heart can also send information to the soul even when the soul is not asking for it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. They are just man, man of the soul is the one that carry or settle what comes from God mm -hmm. to settle it down in his heart, in his in his in himself. Hallelujah. So now you can let's go back to that scripture. About we're taking the sheet of faith where we shall be able to quench all the fairness darts of the wicked. So the wicked, <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. In that place, they are all they are doing is to send signals. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But they are not sending signals like we are we, we we want we are we are begging you to receive it. They are sending signals like an attack. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. So this is the verse that make us to go to all those things we've been talking about. So they are sending signal. They don't want to care about either you like it or not. They are sending like an attack. <laughs> so because uh, receiving signals there or receiving attack, it settles down. So the soul is uh, the one that conveys whatever comes in. It conveys them and it settles them down. That is what a man of the soul does. But the Bible doesn't call it a man of the soul. The Bible just calls it soul. But when you see that soul, you know that soul that, that soul contains some things. Let's see this general James 1. James 1, 21, you see that that soul is a container. Mm -hmm. James 1, 21. That soul is what? Is a container. The soul is a container. He said, Therefore, get rid of all moral fields. And the evil that is so prevalent. Can you see? Get rid. They say get rid of all things. <laughs> it means that there is something ridiculous. Things that uh, call every pretension or every uh, manipulation of the devil. That's false. It's false. They stores. So the soul is a, is a storer, is a convener. A soul is a container. How do it contain his stores? He hide. He process. When he stores it, he starts processing them. That is what is called a soul. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, like I said, so receive. So either is aware of what he wants, is asking God for, mm -hmm. or is not aware. He just receives everything. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, if, if between a man and a woman, a man can ask the wife that please bring me water. Can you see? The woman is not prepared for it. But the woman has to what? Still obey to that voice and bring the water. So, the woman still have to receive that information. That's why that she's not aware of that incoming message. Incoming text message. It's like your SIM card receive incoming text message into your phone. It's not expecting that that message is coming, but it's receiving it. Praise the Lord. Amen. But the SIM card receive the one that the SIM card is so sure is that it receives signals from the head office. So head of his can decide to send signals to the same. That's why he is not aware of it. He's still going to receive it. Amen. So praise the Lord. Amen. So let's go back to that verse. So the challenge of every um, intercessor is internal. When you are carrying people on your head and you are standing in gap and praying to God. You can see, see, the part that God is really, really, what would represent interest in a man is the soul. He's a middleman. Without the soul, without the middleman. Okay, let's put it, a soul is like a door <laughs> into a house. So I can stay, some people can stay inside, some people are coming from the outside. If the people in the house are knocking, that the people is in this, I should open the door for them. If the door eh, is broken and you use the key to open, but the door itself is broken, there's no way any of you can be successful in what you are doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So the middle man is very important. That's why God makes sure he puts Christ as the middle man. Without the middle man, Forget it. So as God is presenting in the soul and trying to save the soul, 
the enemy also is dragging the soul in the other side. That's why you see so many teachings that is or people the way people are receiving the teaching now is like you are in Christ, your sin doesn't make sense. So you can keep sinning. See, what you don't know is that there is a force happy in you, in your soul, that is making you to believe that uh what that your sin your you see what you are committing doesn't does it doesn't it doesn't do anything to God. It doesn't hurt him. Don't you that anytime God is looking at you, you do something sometimes God is not happy. But it's just like the past that Christ has represented in you, you just look at Christ. You just look at his son. You say, ah let me just leave him. Because the son will show his blood. That is the reason I died. God, don't worry. Soon, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to draw him to you. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes you receive some teaching and you relax. You may not know it's the, it's part of the entire. It's part of what that verse, Ephesians 6, 16 was saying. It said, above all, taking the sheet of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the feeling that of the wicked. So it can be, attacks sometimes may not come in a way, may not affect you in a way that you'll be destabilized physically. But within you, in your soul, you know that something is not right. You know that your joy is gone. You know that your peace is gone. Because they are shooting arrow. They are trying to come. They are trying. They want to gain all of them as they want to have all of them access to that soul. They have been having all of them uh, uh, um, rulership upon, but it's not possible anymore. So they do because it's the middleman. The best thing to get you down is to sit down your soul. And the best way for God to get you, bring you in, is to also sit down in your soul. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. So, a, some time, most times, the challenge of an intercessor is within. Is the soul. Internal. Eh. You, you think you can stand in gap. So, God, they will the, there's only not the concern civil power to know that it's God that gave you directions. No. Oh, you, you are the one praying. Okay. They will just go and just shoot something. And you won't even know. An argument will just start between you and your spouse. And you will know it was <laughs> it was an arrow. You will know. Sometimes you will just have stress happening within your soul. You will know it was fearing that of the enemy. Sometimes you want to do something. And sometimes it can even be distractions. You want to pray. But something will just be distracting you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do this one. Uh, you still have hours. You still have. We can do it. Check time. This is 7 20. Then we can still do it. You still have 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Don't worry. You can still. Don't worry. Continue doing this thing. You can. You, you start praying by 9 o'clock. They will be telling you that. You know that God likes to be praying every 3 3 hours. They are putting distractions in your heart. Praise the Lord. Amen. The only thing is to overcome this A scripture is coming to my mind. It's not what I planned. It's the scripture. First Samuel First Samuel
1 Samuel 13. From verse 1 to the to end to 22. But let me just speak a part. Or oh, let me read it straight. But I know some of us have the understanding of it, of the verse. Uh, there was a time, well, let me see if I can summarize it. David, okay, let me read it. David and his men reached Ziglag on the third day. Now the Hamalekite has raised the Negev, Negev and Ziglag. They attacked the Ziglag and burnt it and had taken captives the woman, the woman, the, and everyone else in it, both young and old. They killed none of them, but carried them off as they went on their way. You can see. So, uh, the enemies of David came to Ziklag, where the harbour of David and his armies was. And they came to attack that place and they take into captives. They make the wives of the, all the Hanim, uh, uh, Hamis, uh, soldiers of David, so, uh, uh, warriors fighting with David, and also with David's two wives, and all his children, and all the children and the wives of all these warriors, they take them into captives, like all stage. They didn't do anything, they didn't kill them, they just hide them and they just went on their way. And verses, Bible says, David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. Who? The men who? The soldiers walking with David. They forgot that David to his own family has been taken into captives. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> now, they now took, they, 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 their plan was to stone David. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You know, a warrior or a leader of a warrior, leader of, uh, every leader is, is, a kind, is a kind of person that takes care of uh, every, everyone under him. So they don't want to care if the person has a family or he has his own challenges. His own responsibility is to take care of all of us. Amen. Now, David was greatly distressed because the men were taking, talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because of his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord. So the way to uh, for every intercessor to uh, intercessor is like a leader. It's just that the kind of leadership he's doing is not physical. <laughs> they are more spiritual. He's carrying the whole world on his head. Amen. How you getting it? Amen. What I mean, he's carrying on his head is like it's not like he's carrying. It's not like he's, he's, he's interceding for all of them. He's putting the whole world in the hands of God Amen. and and put and pray so that God can release his angels and sort out uh, the details of the prayer of the intercessor upon uh, people that the intercessor carried and put in the hands of God for God to take care of their lives. Hallelujah. Amen. So, now, it can be Part of the challenges can be um, it can be like some your internal push is gone. That drives that makes you to pray. Mm -hmm. You just know that the drive is no more in that place, in that in that soul. So your internal push, you that you pray. Maybe you've been praying, God has been leading you to pray, pray. You just remember that you wake up one day and you cannot pray again. So it's internal challenge. The problem of any intercessor is the attacks they have is internal. 
Because when they discover that they cannot, uh, they cannot fight you physically, uh, they cannot lay hold, lay hold on your properties, your possession, or your family. They will start say, okay, let's shoot an arrow, let's bring him down, let's make sure he doesn't pray again, let's render him useless. Praise the Lord. He's still in God, but the fire is not there. He's not there. Let's remove the fire. Let's 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 distract him. Praise the Lord. Let's distract him. Let's reach out now his uh, heart towards something else, mm -hmm. or let's even you know, uh, keep him busy to be doing good things of the kingdom, not the right things of the kingdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe you are the one that um, you are not a, you don't cancel people, hmm? and you are just going, and you see some people um, fighting, or maybe you are on your place to go and pray, and some people will be fighting on the streets, and you just leave as a believer. It's not good as a believer to just leave to fight like this. Something will just channel your direction. That's a distraction. Amen. To go and I don't know many people that are fighting, they are also <laughs> being uh directed by evil the same evil spirit that is that distracting you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So so the mo most as in the internal drive sometimes is not there, it's gone. It can be fatigue. Or sometimes you'll be so tired. Hallelujah. Sometimes you are just tired. Or sometimes they can even give you some dreams that doesn't make sense. Sometimes they will give you things that will make you to start praying for yourself. Praise the Lord. Or sometimes you just wake up and you begin to watch some films. Or things that you've not done for six months, you start doing them like I've not even opened this TV for a while. Let me even don't worry, I will pray in the next two hours. And by the time you realize you want to pray by nine, it's called at ten is <laughs> the time. The empower will tell you, don't worry, you can pray at twelve o'clock. Either by some time, maybe by that twelve o'clock, you pray for four hours, or you pray for five hours. And you are waiting for how many hours you still want to go. And sometimes God will be leading you to go and pray. But that drive is no more there. It's like you just be ignoring that voice. Those are the challenges of intercessors. And if you can't do something, you can do that for three months. You can do it for five months. Either you have been praying before. Or it can even be some internal challenges like you, are no, you don't have... Fine, you don't have money. I mean, they will do things that will affect you internally. Those are, and the major reason is just to distract you, to refocus your mind to another direction. I mean, when the drive is not there, and you are with distractions, you are doing things that are good, that are not right. What I mean that are not right is that you are doing things that are good, I mean, still things of the kingdom. You can still find inspiration from it. But it is not what God gives you as an assignment to be doing daily. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what that verse is saying. Do you know what David did? See, you have to believe, you have to realize something that what you are passing through, everybody has, many people have passed through it. The number one thing to do is what? You know, to just push yourself. Mm. You have to, one thing is that sometimes in my own time, I may have challenges, internal challenges. One thing that doesn't make sense like that. Or if some Christian brothers, you just come. And you guys will begin to Discuss Bible. <laughs> and you 
case not taking you, start arguing. You think you are helping yourself to understand scripture, but you don't know that you are if if even without oneself, without good oneself, you are not even doing this right. <laughs> so in every good thing in the kingdom, there is righteousness in it. So you are not even doing the righteousness in that good path. That is even a distraction to the path that God has laid your head, legs on. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You begin to argue your Bible. No, this is what it says. No, 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 this is, no, no, no. And the best thing to do is what? Separate yourself. See, when the joy of the Lord is gone in you, You are gone. But you cannot find the peace of God. So the signs you'll be having is like your joy is not there. Holy Spirit is still in you, but the joy of the Lord is not there. Holy Spirit is still in you, but the peace is not there. Because peace of the peace of Christ means that it's a, it's a sign that Holy Spirit is there. And Holy Spirit will always be there. He will always abide with you forever, no matter what you are passing through. Even if you neglect him for two years, he's still there. So there are some signals that you have to start working on. Imagine you are sleeping every day, waking up, sleeping, waking up, sleeping, waking up, and you keep doing distractions. If you don't force yourself, push yourself, that thing will become norms in you. So if you say you're an intercessor, you've covered your family with the blood of Jesus, nothing's going to happen to them, and you are okay, but you personally, some jokes may be coming in, they call it the loss of the eyes. If the case not taken, that is what you'll be saying here, don't worry, I'm a pastor, or I'm a brother, I'm a son, I have four carries. So, if you are not disciplined, that one alone can take you away. But God is still with you anyway. Even if you make mistake, He's still with you. But, <laughs> let me tell you, you may not, it's like you are increasing your dealings. You are increasing your dealings. God may not trust you again. Because you don't know that God trusts. You are in the kingdom, your sin is, uh, your sin is, uh, you are not a sinner forever. But what about trust? How are you going to build it? Amen. <laughs> you pass, you pass something now, you are failing that thing. Now you can't go to the next level. It will put carry over on you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. See what Bible says. Then David said to Abitar, the priest, the son of Ahimelech, bring me the heifold. And Abitar brought it to him. And Bible says, David inquired of the Lord. Amen. Shall I pursue this raiding party? We have, will I overtake them? And God says, pursue them. Mm -hmm. He answered, you will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue. Let me read it in KJV. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. Amen. But you know what, David? He pushed himself. So the Lord has been with him all this while, waiting for him. So when you are without that, that, that distraction, God is always with you. 
Don't think that God will be the one to talk to you first. Don't think that God will be, no, out of mercy, He'll be giving you some signs to bring you back. See that your soul is under the captives. They have locked him in. So you have to do what? You have to push yourself. You have to push yourself. You have to try. Sometimes, sometimes you, even, you are even trying to pray. You need that. You want to pray just about that. As you are even praying, distractions are fooling your heart. Distractions. That is when you remember ah, uh, something. Uh, uh, that is when you receive some alerts. <laughs> and you not deceive yourself to say that when you are praying, you have to silence your phone. Don't switch it off because you don't know some calls may come in. But put it on silence and and uh, put it on high bandwidth. High bandwidth of phone. So then don't see anything that is coming. Like me now, I put all the alert on my phone to off. So it means that it is my decision to put on my phone and click on it and see that there are so many alerts on my phone. It's, this, it's not easy self to put your alert, alert on your all of the alerts to off. It's not easy. But you have to, I mean to be disciplined or something, you have to also push yourself. You have to do something and until that thing become part of you. Because God wants it to be part of you. So also the devil wants it to be part of you. When it becomes part of you, from the devil, it becomes an addiction. But to God, for God to solve, to save you from addiction, it means that you have to keep pushing and pushing until it becomes part of you that you can't even do until you do those things. You can't even, you can't, you can't be at rest. So see what the Bible says. He said, then David inquired. So he go one step further. That's number one. Number two, anytime you finish that kind of pray, prayers, uh, cover your heart with the blood of Jesus. Always. Cover your heart with the blood of Jesus. Amen. And ask for grace of continuity. Amen. Grace of what? Grace to continue. These are the times that you have to pray some difficult prayers. Prayers that you know that he should not. The, the, I call it energizing prayer. Prayer that will wake you up even if you are not, you don't want to do those things. Like God, anything that will distract me to do your will, cut them off. Another part is. Yeah, different. The child can come different ways. If you are, you have children already in the house, it can be distraction. You know, children they are just doing their own, but you don't know. They will just come and disturb you when. But you need wisdom. Let me give you the wisdom. When you are praying and your your boys or your girls are coming to knock on this, daddy, 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 just bring them in. <laughs> And let them be seeing you pray. Number one is either they leave you or they stay with you praying. They just want to do something. They want to watch you. Don't say, I'm, I'm alone with God. No. Bring them in. When there is something, tell them you to lead them. We do these prayers. They just want to be occupied. That is the best wisdom. Tell them. You know, like you are watching your when we're still in Africa, you'll be washing your things, your clothes, and you see a child, a baby, disturbing you. Mommy, I want to wash. I want to wash. Okay, you put put some clothes for the child. <laughs> is either he's tired and run away, <laughs> or he's trying to help you. That is it. 
So when you are thinking you are alone with God and you are doing ba 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 ga 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 you know eh and they are coming to knock him open your door let them come in let them come in even if you want to, want to, you want the best you want to do when they come in just lock the door and tell them to continue with the BBB you see you are you are putting footprint in his house And those kids, because they are still in the kingdom of God on house, they are still very, very close. Their heart is still pure. They will be seeing some revelation that you, you say you may not even see in the next 30 minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the, the challenges of intercessor is eternal. But when sometimes you do things out of divine experience, God, sometimes God don't want us to gain experience so that most times you don't keep asking Him things. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you are having some challenges and you you've passed those things before, and you've God has given you some strength or ability to rise up, when it happens again, what only people will do is I will just give you some some flash. The flash can be like, or maybe you are praying for God, help me, give me strength. What can I do? It will just give you a flash to make you to remember. It can be one, one second flash. Mm -hmm. Just capture what you did Amen. when this thing happened last time. Amen. You can see that God is responding to you. Mm. He's responding to you. Responding to you. Mm -hmm. So now, you now need to stand up and push yourself. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, uh, Another thing, like I said, is put the blood of Jesus into your heart. Internally, God, I put the blood of Jesus. But no, about, another thing I want you to understand is that apart from putting the blood of Jesus, discipline is very important. So you can put the blood of Jesus, push yourself. If you are not disciplined, internal discipline. If you like, put the put one thousand blood of Jesus. As in, say, I pray the blood of Jesus 1,000 times. Recite it 1,000 times. So, I give you three points. Push yourself. Sometimes you can even push yourself. And sometimes when you are praying, something will be pushing you to stand up. Just make sure you just keep staying there and keep praying. Keep praying. Like, okay, okay, uh, I said I will pray for 15 minutes. And before the 15 minutes ends, your head is in 1,000 places. Sit down there and continue the prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the internal challenges of intercessor, the challenges of intercessor are internal. But one, when it happens, God will give you flash. That flashes on like energy, internal energy, spiritual energies, to to rise up and be above, because everything that you pass through has been solved on the cross, and everything you lay on your hands on as spiritual blessings are already been given to you as inheritance. But God will not bring those inheritances to you. It's just like every day in the morning, God has shower or given. Bread and food to all the animals in the forest. And I'm talking to you now, some animals, we, don't, we may not see them. There are some animals that are still eating, doing their own thing, but they don't know that they are still going to be food for some animals before, before the end of tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So, God has blessed all of us, but we have to stand up, rise up, move, and look for the blessings. So God has given you all the spiritual blessings, but you have to stand up and push yourself and access those things. You know, Christ is in you, but some people, Christ is in them, they will still be crying. God, help me. God, uh, God, how can I? But Christ is in you. Holy Spirit is in you. And those, in the, those, power, those two abilities, they don't respond to negativity. They respond to positivities. <laughs> it's my my English. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So the challenges of intercessors are internal, but you have to push yourself. You have to plead the blood, and you have to be disciplined. And the last one that I said is that you have to access what God has given you. God has done his part. Even your soul has been saved, but it needs, it needs to be written. Is the written one that is the challenge? God will write. Satan will also come and write. The Bible says, when he, when the man the enemy, the enemy comes to sow tears. What do you think he's trying to do? He's trying to reprint things in your soul. God has printed something so that you wake up and you see those flash and respond. But well, enemy also will come and put his own. God, before you came to save this man, we are the one that holds this soul. We are the one that holds this man. You can't just think, you can just come and so it's a warfare. 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 So the more you can respond to this warfare and access what God has given you is what will facilitate your growth. So the wisdom, the knowledge of God says in the soul of man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's uh, I believe this you have been blessed by this teaching. So I challenge us to the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. to access your spiritual blessings. Amen. That is in Christ. Amen. The reason you are in Christ is in you is because He came with the spiritual blessings. Amen. So you have to go back to Christ mm. and access it. Amen. Push yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you when you access those spiritual blessings and you lay hope on eternal on that life, Amen. then you are you will do what you will see the manifestation of the of the finished work of God. Amen. You know that you are more than conqueror. Praise the Lord. This verse has been there. I grew up with this verse, but every day. That was the word of God is new every morning. Amen. Every day you access this verse, it's covered that every day you are more than conqueror. Amen. But if you don't access this verse, Amen. you are not, you are just, you are more than conqueror in Christ. But that victory will not be, take any effect in your life. Hallelujah. May God bless us. Oh, come. Let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Christ,
teach, teaching. Amen. Um, let us remember that as Christians, God always likens us to soldiers. And soldiers are very, 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 very disciplined. They train them in such a way that only what is of the king matters to them. Amen. What is of the father? This is what matters to them. Nothing else. They forsake any other thing. Amen. But the most important thing. Amen. Which is that of the king. Which is that to which they've been assigned to do. They look at nothing else when they're in the field. Amen. If you've not given your life to Christ, that will not apply to you. Yet you first need to give your life to Christ. So if you're watching me and you've not given your life to Christ, you just um, and in your heart you want to, you know, you, you you've received all this and you want to give your life to Christ. You just repeat after me, Jesus, I thank you that you died on the cross for me, and after three days you rose again. Amen. Holy Spirit, I surrender my life to you. Come and live in me. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to do this worship. Night of the world You step down into darkness Open my eyes Let me see
peace unto things that will distract me. Help me to be focused and to be disciplined. It is only by your grace, Holy Spirit, it's only you who can help me. Help me to be disciplined. Help me to be disciplined, to wait for when, when, I'm, when I'm about to sleep, when I'm so tired, to start praying. Help me to be disciplined. Help me to close my eyes on things, conversation that do not even, even, do not even add anything to you. Some people can spend three hours on the telephone. What are they talking about? You don't even know. Does he add anything to the kingdom? Does he add anything? Three, four hours on the phone. Doing things that you know that are not even are not even adding, adding any value to your spiritual lives. We need to be disciplined. Whatever you know, kariba soko Whatever you know that is not adding value. You start watching one movie, then after that you want to watch three, four, five. Doing it once in a while, it's okay. But when it becomes an habit, every day you're going to spend four hours watching a movie. Every day you're going to spend four hours talking on the phone about things that no, no beginning, no end. All those things, we need to cut them off. We need to cut them off. You need to close your eyes and say, this is, I'm disciplined. Kora, Holy Spirit, help me. Kora, but let's pray in tongues. Kora, but rika talaba soko torobori. Rika te malorobo si kate malekate. Libaro koto moroko tibale katalaba so. Send your power now. Send your power. Holy Ghost power. Send your power again, the Holy Ghost power. Send your power, Lord. Send your power, the Holy Ghost power. Karabasi, we sing. Send your power again. The Holy Ghost power, Koraba Soko Torubo, Rekata Fanas into flame, Holy Ghost. Send your, please just give, give me a little bit of drum just for a few minutes. I'm just believing that this is going to Karama Seka Talaba Roko Tobo Roko Tibala Kata Fanas into flame into our prayer life, into our prayer life. Eka Talaba Roko Timele Rebesi Rebele Ketele Besi. Send your power, Lord. Send your power. The Holy Ghost power. We sing, send your power again. Fag of people into flame. Kanabaro koto polele de flame. Kalebale kariba so koto boro koti lale. Le rama so koto roboro koto robo si kata konvoi les étincelles maintenant au nom de Jésus. Send your power now. Send your power. Korabase. The Holy Ghost power. If you're watching us, I want you to stand following these drums and the caraba sokoto. I believe that something is going to be found into flame. Kalibaro koto robo si kate la maso koto robo ri kelebe ri kate malo koto robo si kata la ba re kata la ba sokoto robo si ma ba 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 re kata la ba se re be ri kete re be se le re be re be se me le be be re kata la ba sokoto robo si ba ba ba. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Send your power, send your power, hey, Holy Ghost fire, the Holy Ghost fire, send your fire again, the Holy Ghost fire, send your fire, send your fire in the heart of your people. The Holy Ghost fire. Can I pass on? Send your fire again. The Holy Ghost fire. Burn in the Holy Ghost. Send your fire. Oh, send your fire 
Remember, there is a reward for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. 